I've spent years testing managed WordPress hosting, and while there are many great options on the market, I've also learned that not all managed hosting is created equal. So in this video, I want to tell you about my favorite managed WordPress hosting, why your web hosting choice matters, and things to look for in a quality web host. Now I'll get straight to the point. If you're wondering what my favorite managed WordPress hosting is, it's Kinsta. If you came here just for that, then I'll have Kinsta linked below. Kinsta was kind enough to sponsor this video, and right now you can get the first month of the starter or pro plan for free with no payment necessary. And they've got an amazing Black Friday sale happening through December 3rd. You can get six months off on all annual plans or 50% off your first six months on all monthly plans. This is genuinely one of the best Black Friday deals I've ever seen on web hosting, and with Kinsta being a top tier host, I would take advantage while you can. And although Kinsta sponsored this video, I've been using their managed hosting long before they reached out to me. So when they heard my story and experience as a customer, they asked if I would be open to sharing it. And honestly, I thought it was a great idea. That's because whether you choose Kinsta or another web host, it's important to know what to look for in a managed host, and understand how your host will support your website as it grows. My experience with finding Kinsta started a while back when I was using another managed host, and after months of a decent experience, my site suddenly became unbearably slow. I'm talking about sites taking 10 to 20 seconds to load. I started looking into it, and I didn't see an unusual spike in traffic. My site didn't suddenly require more resources. I didn't change anything. In other words, there was no reason for the site to randomly slow down. A bit puzzled about this, I reached out to the web host, and they shared that everything looked normal with my website, and load times were acceptable on their end. And that was the weird thing about this issue. Sometimes my site would load fast, but at other random times, my site would be slow. Like, really slow. I reached out to my host again, asking them to double check everything, and that's when they informed me that there was a noisy neighbor on my server. Another client site taking up too many resources causing every other site on that same server to slow down. But wait a minute, I was paying a premium for managed hosting. Doesn't that mean my site should be immune to issues like this? Not always. It's important to understand what managed hosting is. Typically, managed WordPress hosting removes the technical burden of hosting your site. With a managed product, your host will handle things like server administration, software updates, backups, and performance optimization. But even though managed hosts typically handle performance optimization, that doesn't necessarily mean your website is running in an isolated environment. In the case of that particular web host, they had websites configured as shared hosting. Client sites were not containerized, meaning if one website ate up all the server's resources, all the other sites on the same server suffered. Managed hosting is typically sold at a premium price compared to starter shared hosting, and that's because you're paying extra for hosting that just works. But if you want the assurance that your website is isolated and has dedicated resources, you'll want to do your research to make sure your host is actually doing that. When I launched Crayler Academy, I knew I had to pick my host carefully. This was the biggest WordPress site I've ever created. It runs my online courses using the Lifter LMS plugin, and since I would be getting hundreds and eventually thousands of users registering for the website, I was intentional about researching my host before signing up. By the way, you might want to sign up to be notified when I release new videos. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell if you're enjoying my content. Now, I landed on Kinsta for several reasons, but the first is that every website is containerized. Kinsta uses Linux containers hosted on Google Cloud Platform to ensure that every website has a secure, isolated environment with dedicated resources. Because of the containerization, each site also has a completely separate MySQL instance. This leads to significant performance gains in WordPress. I also appreciated that Kinsta was upfront about using Google Cloud Platform. Many web hosts use cloud providers like AWS or GCP for their infrastructure, but not many like to advertise it. Knowing that Kinsta uses GCP gives me confidence they're using dependable server infrastructure while offering a custom solution you can't find directly at GCP. Kinsta also has everything I look for in WordPress hosting, like automatic daily backups, a staging environment, and free migrations. They even have an expedited migration option to migrate your site in eight hours. So if you're having an urgent performance issue, you can get up and running on Kinsta fast. 
But rather than going on and on about my favorite Kinsta features, I figured I'd just share what I look for in a web host to determine if it's a good fit for a mission critical website. Kinsta has all of these things, but whether you choose Kinsta to host your site or not, you can still get value out of this information. Now, there's the things I already mentioned like containerization, automatic daily backups, and staging environments. But you should also choose a web host with an easy to navigate dashboard. I've tried some web hosts with amazing power and performance, but their dashboards made site management so difficult that I didn't become a customer just because of that. A quality dashboard interface makes it simple to access the items you'll need regularly while keeping the technical configuration options tucked away. Next, look for a web host that specifically focuses on WordPress security. Any decent web host will focus on server security with things like DDoS protection, but securing a WordPress site properly also requires proactive plugin vulnerability checking. On that note, your host should have an uptime guarantee of at least 99.9%. Typically, with a guarantee like this, your host will have to offer you a prorated credit for any downtime exceeding 0.1% in a month. And when a host loses revenue for downtime, they're incentivized to keep your site up. One thing Kinsta offers that I haven't seen often is proactive hack prevention. They're so confident in their security infrastructure that if your site gets compromised, they'll fix it for free. I'd also look for a host with a robust caching and CDN setup. There are great third-party caching and CDN solutions you can use with any host, but it's a bonus if your host includes it as it's one less thing to set up. If you're working with a team, you should find a host with user management. It's not the best idea to share your master hosting login with your team. If the login gets into the wrong hands, you could be locked out of your account. Creating unique logins for each team member ensures that you can simply disable accounts as needed, and the owner account will be safe and secure. You should also be clear on what your upgrade path is. As your website's traffic grows, what are your options? Can you scale up seamlessly, or do you have to migrate to another hosting product? At many hosts, the upgrade path looks like moving from shared hosting to a VPS, and this requires you to physically migrate your site between servers. And even if you can upgrade your hosting with a click in your dashboard, look for hosting with 24-7 human support. You never know when you might need help, and having knowledgeable customer server reps whenever you need them makes all the difference. Now, as you probably guessed, all of these things and more are available at Kinsta, and that's why I chose them for my website. I've been using Kinsta for most of this year, and I'm continually blown away by the speed, reliability, and ease of use. I can honestly say that I never worry about performance issues with my site, but before using Kinsta, I was concerned that running a more complex WordPress site reliably would be a nightmare. But now, instead of losing sleep over web hosting, I feel empowered to build more advanced, more capable WordPress sites. If you'd like to try Kinsta, I'll have it linked below. You can get the first month of the starter or pro plan risk-free with no payment required. If you decide to take advantage of the amazing Black Friday deal, they also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee if it's not for you. But whether you choose Kinsta or another host, be sure you're clear on how your website will be hosted and what your options are to scale up as your site grows. Once you've picked your hosting and installed WordPress, check out this video on five things to do after installing WordPress.